I, th I thank the Minister for giving way and perhaps uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, the Minister would like to correct the record. Did she actually mean that uh, the, the government will do whatever it takes or did she actually mean that they will do 10 per cent of whatever it takes? <laughs> it, it, it's really important that we understand what Sir Kevin, who is a hugely respected man, was asked to do. He was engaged to provide advice and make recommendations not to give a formal report. And this is what he himself said to the Education Select Committee. We have worked on his advice, we've made those recommendations, and we are doing this deeper review. Let me carry on. Many members have spoken of the record funding that's going into our schools. And before this virus hit, we've committed to the biggest school funding boost in over a decade. That means that the whole school's budget will be over £52 billion this year. The member for Slough just intervened on me. Can I just, he made a suggestion that school funding is dropping. Can I suggest that the member for Slough checks his maths as the cash funding and school, core school budgets in his constituency this year is going up by 4.7 per cent, well ahead of the rate of inflation. The high needs budget is now over eight billion. The pupil premium will target it will be an over an estimated two point five billion this year. That funding is targeted to support those eligibles for free school meals. The one point four billion pound that we recently announced takes the investment in education recovery order. Or order. It's getting a bit noisy on both sides. We do need to listen to the minister. Minister.